Is that my mommy's mommy up there? Okay. people. Hello people. Hello everybody. Hello everybody. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. And uh, Jesus says that you must have the joy. Jesus said that you must have the joy. And the love. And the love. Because the joy and his love is our strength. It's our strength. Yes. All right, every day we declare that the, the day is a, yes, beautiful birds. Every day we declare that the day, every day is a day that the Lord has made. And I'm so thankful to be back just to explain to you concerning healthy food and concerning my book that I wrote concerning uh, daily family young food, which is God's ah. you. I'm going to share with you how we start our day. Well, how do we start our day? We always pray in the morning. Pray. That's right. And then after we pray, we have our yes. breakfast. Now, come sit down and you've almost finished all your breakfast. What is this that you ate this morning? Corn flakes. It is corn flakes, yeah. And this? And, and also food. And muesli. Food. And muesli. This is muesli, right? Okay. And you, he's full of energy as he has eaten all his food. And I am... Not uh, we are so glad. Yet. We are so I glad. Am that not you, I'm talking. Yet. When I talk, you must. Alright? But it's my turn. No, it's not your turn yet. Now, what we do? We do this every morning also after we eat food and mm. we eat exercise. Food, we exercise. And what do we also drink with our food? Mm. Milk. Milk? Yeah. And water and juice. Milk, water, and juice. That is so right here. Yeah. And this is. Pa and Ma's energy boost, which we make with green before we start Taiho. Um, right? Did you say I was uh, also uh, drink this? Eat. Yes, yes, you must also drink this and eat that <laughs> and drink and eat it. Yeah, this is a breakfast yeah, that we have I'm every morning as a family of God. You and uh, we also Taiho. Yeah. This is a, a new move to your favorite 50s and 60s songs as well that you can the play the best. Or the, the I prefer mix. gospel when I, I do the Taibo. Just now. Uh, just show a Taibo move that we do in the morning. Okay. Hey. Kick the legs, kick the legs, kick the legs. We kick the legs, we kick the legs, we kick the legs. And the other one now, the other one. Yes, he is he's seen his grandma. And his yes, grandpa do this, do this every morning. Did it, you did it. This is wonderful, my child. And now, do you love Taibo? And we Taibo every morning. And so this is an energy drink. And what's this? What's that this? Also go green. Go green. Look here. Yes, that is also nice. Ah, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in. I'm so thankful that we're tuning in today because every day is a day that the Lord has made. And you know, it's so wonderful to know that if you get up in the morning, you just say, thank you, Lord, for this day. And because the joy of the Lord is our strength. 
you know, and the, it's wonderful. I like Psalm 63 where it says, Oh my God, so it's the Lord. And, then, and you know, then you just dwell in the Word of God because God's Word is our food, our best medicine. And you know, this is our ministry that is called Touching All Nations, Touching and Reaching All Nations. Touch and Reach All Nations through Airways Africa Radio and TV Network. This is a type of work that we do. And if I greet the people, I, call, I always greet them in a wonderful, in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, and everything. This is our, our community work that we have done, the school programs that we've done. And uh, we work with a lot of youth in our communities as such. And we host a lot of uh, TV uh, conferences. And this is going to be one of my first books that I wrote that I'm going to present today to you. And it's so important because it all is all in the Word of God. And we stand in the very first chapter of the Word of God, which is in, uh, this is my Bible, which I'm going to open up. You don't have to turn there, but it's important. Just to follow what I'm saying, I'm going to turn to the book of Genesis. This is a scripture that God had given us. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And you know, um, it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty, and darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. The Holy Spirit. God is holy and He's a spirit. And the first day, as you know, God created the light. The second day, He created the sky and the water. The third day, the land and the seas. And the, th the, the fourth day, the sun, moon, stars to govern the day. And the night to mark seasons, days and years. Fish and the birds of the earth to fall. The, the, and, and that to fall the, the waters and the sky as well, the birds. The fish for the, for the waters and the, the, the birds for the sky. And then... Um, he also created the animals to fill the earth and man and woman he created male and female that is us that is today as well God created us as Psalm 139 says he formed us in our mother's womb he formed us he created us and everything that God created every day when he made something he said he was so pleased and he made, and he made it that is the sixth day that he formed the man and the woman to care for the earth and to commune with him. And that is why when I woke up every morning, then I commune with him. My husband as well, we are family of God. Thank you for my husband that is, a, that is a, the, the, the head of our ministry called Touch All, All Nations that God has called us into to touch and reach all nations through the airwaves. We like to preach and teach the word of God. And this morning, I'm so thankful that God has given me this word to share with you concerning that he is a creator of all nations. He created us and He created in our, us in His image. As it says here in uh, 26, I'm going to go down to 26. It says, then God said, let us make man in His image and our likeness and let him rule over the fish, the sea, the birds, the air, over the air and over the livestock, over all the earth and over the creatures that move along the ground. So God created man in His image. So we are all formed and made in His image as He formed us in our mother's womb when we were still a little babies. We are a family of seven children. I'm one of the youngest. And uh, uh, I'm so glad that uh, uh, my mom and dad taught us also about this, what I'm teaching you this morning. And uh, parents, I want to say, teach your children from the word of God because it's so important of God that he's the creator of all nations and God loves all nations. He doesn't look at your outward appearance. No, 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 no. But he looks in your inner man and he wants us to be obedient to him as his word wants us to be. So he created us and, he, and God blessed everything that he made. We are blessed. Why? Because God blessed us right at the beginning when he created our, the first uh, nations that he made on earth. That is many, many, many years ago. I think it's a few thousand years ago. If I'm, not so, if, if I'm correct according to Bible history. And then God blesses them and said, be fruitful. You know, the man, he created the man and the male and the female, he created them all. He said, be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and every living creature that moves on the ground. And God said, I give you every, I love this part, seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth. That's verse 29 I'm reading. And every tree that has fruit with seeds in it, they will be yours for food and to all the birds of the, of the earth, I mean all the beasts 
of the earth and all the birds of the air and all the creatures that are moving in the on the ground everything that has uh, that has breath of life in it i will give every green plant for food i'm going to stop right there and it was say so god no, i'm going to stop here because i want to read you this the 31st verse or last verse of chapter 1 god saw that in what he made and it was very good that it was very very good and there was evening and there was morning that was the sixth day which god created and he rested the seventh day that's why they call it the sabbath day and it's wonderful and the, uh, the seventh day and god blessed the day because god want us to be blessed and rest in him as well and it's so important to know that when uh, especially this verse of scripture that says i give every green plant for food and it was so you know when god gave me this book he said ever the cures the healing is everything in the green food in the food the, the i mean the green plants the plants that he has created at the beginning and he has given us that creation he, he has given us that ideas as well to create certain things like i'm, I'm a mom I'm, i cook for my family and i when uh, uh, this is how i grew up with this type of food what you see here with the f vegetables and the fruit here as you can see fresh vegetables from the from the earth and that what god has made and i mean this is something that is awesome he, he made everything and i mean that those days adam and eve the very big uh, one of the first people even the the other males and females that he made at the beginning you know as it said yeah he made us all in his image all the nations of all the world he made the whole world the whole earth he made it he made everything is made in his image i'm talking about people now us he made us in his image so it doesn't matter what nation town tribe you are god loves you and he cares for you and he want you to be have created creative idea even as a housewife like myself this morning you know when i woke up this morning i said to the lord you know it's so awesome just to know you as my daddy as my awesome daddy you the is the best daddy that you can talk to if you this morning feeling down and that just say lord fill me with your holy spirit fill me with your uh, holy uh, uh, anointing you know because anointing is the one that removes the burden destroy any form of you but let me go on about the vegetable and that god made the vegetables so this is a book you can just zoom in here to the book that god has shown me and this is all uh, what i what you see here is most of it it's also on here i've got broccoli here i've got the the, the, the onion zing and also the, the the ginger and all that the, the, the sweet potatoes as you can see here the tomatoes as you can see here. this is all the things that, that god wants us to live on the green fresh fruit and vegetables this is a fruit side here but let me finish with the vegetables then you see here this is car and this is one of the best things that you can have even the tomatoes here avocado pears it's one of the best that you can get you know we just love it my husband i put it on the bread uh, when we have a size of young bread which is or a snack we just eat or sometimes you eat it just like that you know with what sometimes some you know uh, uh, you don't have chilies now but you get the powder off of it and you put that on because it's also when all this food that you see here it's all it counts for your health as well everything that you see here god wants us to live a healthy lifestyle and that and that is why i'm so glad that to, to know the lord and i'm glad that he's given me this book this book to write and to uh, make format and and get and and talk about it you know the green fruits and the vegetables and all that you can have got a cucumber here as well we've got such a lot of things this is what i could make but now i want to start to say that you know i didn't finish my green tea you see god also make the tea plants this is a green tea this is a tea that i drink every morning it's perfectly pure it stands on here the green tea which is true and i mean this is it's a young thing it's it's made i put a little bit of ginger in here and lemon and it tastes mm, it tastes awesome and i had my i had my first uh, cup earlier on and now this is my second cup and this i drink as a health drink and it helps me it helps me uh, to live healthy and because this body that we have is a temple of of, of god and he dwells within it and he uh, you know our spirit man he, li he lives in there and it belongs to him 
and he wants us to look after our body because this is an earth suit. We call, I remember Dr. Miles Monroe when he used to preach, he used to mention that, and I used to love it. Uh, when he said that, and I wasn't thinking of, and when he, he mentioned one, I was sitting in his, uh, while he was ministering, uh, 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 when you, we, that was way back in Pretoria when we were living there and we love, or oh, my husband and I love to visit when we yeah, he's there then we go listen to what he mentioned and Dr. Miles Monroe said that this is only an earth suit and he loved to preach also on that God is a creator of heavens and earth and also us and he made us all in his image and he encouraged me a lot that time already, I'm talking about many years ago and uh, now Dr. Miles Monroe is being with the Lord because of the accident that has happened. But I, I, he was one of our mentors that spoke about the God, that the great, the creator, the creator of all nations, of everybody. And we've learned a lot there. And he always used to say about the earth suit. And now I want to demonstrate you something. Where's my jacket? This was a jacket that I, uh, I used to look like this, like a big tank. I'm going to put it on and you can see for yourself. Look, where is the, uh, the I um, can you see it's like that? And look here, the weight, the, the weight that I have lost. Because of my green tea, I drink a lot of lemon things and that. And it's, it's important to look after your body because God wants us to live healthy. There's such a lot of uh, uh, sickness and diseases going around and it's because of being ignorant of the fact of not eating healthy and God wants us to have his wisdom, his knowledge and his understanding and insight of his food that he created and he wants us as our moms, housewives and that to be creative in our food and all that and also on ourselves, being the living a, a testimony also of, of a, this is what you what you see here, yeah? this is what you find always in our home and this is the type of food I grew up my mom used to make this for us. And I can just say that God is what it says here. Yeah. You know, whether you eat or whether you drink, whatever you do, do it all under the glory of God. It is so important that this what I do is all to the glory of God. Because He is our glorious God. He is our Savior. He is our everything. You know, this is in the book of 1 Corinthians that I've read 10, 31. And it's so important to know that God is real. I've, I've got so many scriptures on on healing, but this is actually the healing foods as well. When you live healthy, and you eat healthy, and you drink healthy, as I said about the green tea. And I love my green tea. It is so, so important. And our smoothies, my husband and I love drinking our smoothies. And that, and my husband, the doctors mentioned that he's a so-called by diabetic, but he's trusting God for a complete healing by eating and drinking healthy with me, uh, the, the green uh, uh, juice that I make from the, the green leaves, as you can see here, as I mentioned earlier, and what it is all. And the darker the, the, the green uh, leaves are, the better. Because this is spinach, as you can see. This is a spinach leaf, and I all made, I made it all together here. And I just put an apple a day, it says in the word, it says, we say it under us as a our culture, an apple a day keeps a doctor away, which is true. It keeps a doctor, and somewhere in Proverbs is mentioning that, that if you eat healthy, you will stay healthy, you know. And this is what I am doing today, I, I, I just want to demonstrate to you. And I've got so many uh, things to share, and I don't even know where to start, <laughs> but the vegetation is so important, because God... You know, in five days, five days, I lost one and a half kilos, almost two. And in that is five days. And in another five days, in another week, say in another two days, I lost the other half. So in a week's time, I lost two kgs. And look at me, I lost 10. As I put on my jacket earlier on, I could, you could see how uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still, uh, I, I don't, I'm going to throw that away. Because this is now the clothing, the new clothing that I've been blessed with and, that, and I'm thankful for it. And uh, this is something that we need to know, to, uh, especially our women, we like, like to look beautiful for our husbands and that, yeah. But to come back, you know, uh, uh, let me start with the, the, the type of food that I make. This is the one that we start in the mornings, drinking this, after we had a lovely breakfast, as I show you, and that, 
whatever you feel like doing. Summertime, this is a smoothie that we make. This is just make of lots and lots of this carrots that I make. Carrots that we put in here. And then an apple and a pear. And even an orange. This is what we also put in here. And then we drink it. We put lots of things that helps us, you know, because this is all in one. I like also what that one person said. He's, a, he's a, uh, also a man of God that preached. I'm trying to get his name, David Herzog, yeah, he mentioned it, and I watch it now in the week, and he mentioned concerning how people are ignorant of the fact of not drinking and eating healthy. I mean, and he's the one that's living for, 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 for God daily, and he has many heavenly transportations and visitations and experiences in the Lord Jesus Christ because of his uh, calling in the Lord. And I'm thankful for how, what he has brought um, concerning this. I agree 100% with David Herzog when he mentioned this about eating. It all is in the Bible. Go green eating. Eating as it says here. God says, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw that all he had made. And it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning. So I'm going to continue with my, uh, what do you call it, uh, the, the family. Uh, food, uh, Bible food, I call it, because it's all in the Bible, it's in the Word of God. And uh, as I said, this is all made of green uh, leaves and that, and whatever you can put in, because it's all in one. And if you juice it, what David Herzog also mentioned, he said that if you juice it all, it like uh, process quicker, which I know and my husband knows. And we're just sharing it with you this morning to go for it, drink it, and... Uh, uh, process it and, and, and drink it and uh, it will go quicker through your system and that and it gives you a lot of energy don't you feel energetic my husband do you feel energetic okay now I'm gonna ask my husband to come quickly you yeah, know and just come and taste this if you just get a glass and you can bring the glass there for me then you come and taste and tell the people what you how do you how do you taste in that yeah how do you think of this taste that with this is made freshly just now and it's so important to drink water as well it flushes your clean it cleans you cleans you and all of that. It's so easy. And that this is my husband, Isaac. Hi, you <laughs> Thank you for coming aboard and just drinking that. Oh, lovely. Is it nice? You like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very lovely. Very lovely. And how do you feel when you drink it every morning? Very refreshed. Very refreshed. Oh, can I give you a kiss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's you lovely. Want you want more? Okay, I'll give you more. Why are you sitting behind the camera? More energy for him. You see, that diabetic in his body is going to feel in the name of Jesus. It's going to go from him in Jesus' name. It's going to, it's going to leave his body soon in Jesus' name. Right? Amen. So, um, let us start with the, the, the go greens. You've got that one already. You see, if you've got a bunch of spinach, as I said, this, I forgot to get bring this bunch of spinach. So I said, and a bunch of uh, this is cow and this is spinach this is our spinach look the spinach leaves and that so you take that and you slice it one bunch of spinach and one bunch of cow three cloves of garlic this is now the menu that i'm giving you uh, for, for the garlic green uh, not the garlic yeah garlic greens it are called, let us call it that yeah and one uh, i say green garlic but i will rather say uh, one onion, one onion, and then of course garlic. Yeah, three cloves of that. And what I do, I also put this in the ginger, a little bit uh, of this, because it helps also to to help uh, for your for your stomach system and that. Stir fry the garlic and the green onions with them, those things. It's so easy to make it. Add kale and the spinach, and the stir fry is well done, and then you can eat it. But the, I've also got other things uh, here. This is a soup. That I've made. I'm gonna call my husband again. I want him to come here. Just one spoon of it is my tester. Come. I would love him to come and taste it. He's a he's a one uh, that loves my soup. This is a yard soup that I made. Okay, just mmm. I like it. Yummy. Really nice. Mmm. Mm -hmm. The corn, but it's fine. It's not so bad, eh? Mm -hmm. So this is a family soup which I'm gonna say to you what I use. This is a soup mix packet, as you can see here, yeah, what we purchased. I, I boil this for about an hour, which is more than enough. 
and then after you add all that salt, then I take all the green, like I vegged this, like I, uh, uh, what you call it again, um, blended, I've blended, and I take all the green leaves. This is very good in it, very tasty. This, I put a whole bunch of the, um, the kale and the spinach. I put it in there, and I also, when I put mushrooms, fresh mushrooms, I throw it in there, and I blend it, and also carrots. And also the, uh, the, the very green, this is the, the green soup that I make. This is what my husband has taste now with a barley mix soup. It's, I've got other things in it as well. I think it's got, uh, let me just see. Uh, it says here on the packet normally. Yeah, there is barley in it, a lot of barley. There's lots of uh, um, green. Uh, I think that is green. Split piece, yeah. The split piece is in here, and also what I see is like uh, the orange lentils, and also lentils is in there. So it's a lovely yummy soup that you can make for your things. You just cook it up and you just boil it. Whatever, don't put in meat. Plain and simple as it is. All right, and that is a soup that my husband just tastes now. So th this is a, the the the, the foods. That I put in even the uh, this you can make also in a lovely soup, the butternut. You take the butternut, if you want to, you can put this also with it. You just all blend it and you just cook it for a while, and there you have it. It's all the nutrition is in there, everything is in there. But right now, I'm gonna also uh, share with you this these two which I've already prepared. This is made of. Um, uh, it's a veg stir fry, which I normally, I'm just going to read you the, 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 the recipe, which is very important. Um, just, just give me a minute. Spaghetti and macaroni. That is what you make. This is a macaroni one. This is a spaghetti one with mince, and this is a one with chicken. And uh, it is so easy to make. All you do, you stir fry all your uh, fresh vegetables. You can take green beans. You can take sliced carrots. You can take. Uh, I always love my mushrooms. It's got lots of. Uh, uh, there's something that I can't mention now. What's got in? I can't get the name. But that is also very good. It's very nutritional. Very. Then you just stir fry all the um, and always use extra virgin oil. This is an extra virgin oil which I always use. As you can see, the bottle is almost empty. I must go buy some more. This is what I purchased at the supermarket, and then I make my stir fry with that. And if I'm out with that, I use the cooking blended cooking oil that we use, which is made of our sunflower from from this from South Africa, which is so important. And, you know, if you eat healthy and you stay healthy, you have your three meals a day, you will see how you naturally lose weight. And don't forget, as I said, green tea is the best. It's one of the best to lose weight if you want to lose weight. And also, the go green is also not, not, it's not about weight loss, eh? losing weight and that, but it's also about, uh, mostly about health and staying healthy. Am I right here? Um, let me just give you a, a few tips concerning some things. Look here, this is the foods and herbs for arthritis and pains and other inflammatory pain. Turmeric powder, I've got turmeric powder here as well. This is turmeric powder, this is how it looks in the packet like this. That we, we, in Afrikaans we call it boring. <laughs> It's a very funny name. This is so important to, to have as well. And um, 
you know, to, uh, and it's got a lot of things in it that helps you with your, uh, with certain things like, like if you if you feel down and that and your body's not right, then this is good to eat uh, with milk. I think a sunday in here, let me just see what, because I never drank that yet, so I can't really say how it tastes, but I believe it's one of the best, uh, uh, yeah, benefits of turmeric powder. Uh, it treat illness related to respiratory, respiratory system and natural aspirin which cures headache, swelling and pain as well. That is turmeric. You can drink it with your milk as well, especially with milk. You mix it with your milk and you drink it with that. You can go for your full cream milk if you like your full cream milk or low fat milk or fat free milk which is actually the best when you want to lose weight a bit. But for muscles, you want to lose, have a little bit of muscles in it and you go for your full cream milk. It strengthens the spine and joints in the body. It's very good for the joints. This is turmeric powder, as I just showed you here. This is one of the healing agents that, that uh, uh, I can tell you that is very good. It excellent blood purifier and cleanser. Fights cold, cough, and cold as well. It helps in controlling weight loss as well. I didn't know because I didn't. That's not one of my favorite drinks. My favorite drink is a gold green tea that I love to drink. Amen. Hmm. And then, as I said um, earlier on, this is one of the things, there's such a lot of things that I can uh, give you this morning. The diabetics, that uh, 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 if it's uncontrolled, then it, it touches your eyes. And uh, your cataracts is going to be removed, it touches your heart. Uh, if, you, if that's to say, if you eat junk food, I, that doesn't have junk food here on my nose, but you know that junk food is uh, sweets. The too much chocolate. If you go for chocolates, I love chocolates myself. I go for dark chocolates. That is healthy. It's got the other benefits in it as well. But not too much of it as well. Diabetic, it, it, it learns your kidneys as well and your heart, your nervous system, it learns that your teeth start rotting off from that. Your eyes it doesn't function well, even your brains. This is what they have seen. This is a, the, what's, what the doctors is saying because this is what I have got from the. Uh, my um, research work that I've got in my book here. So if you if you if you're diabetic, if you're not eating right, diabetic is like just eating right. My husband knows it as well because uh, he's eating right, and they told him if he eats like this and his this is well controlled because he's got a machine to check out his uh, blood sugar level and that type of thing. Then the doctor said that she will take him off from it. That's to say if he keeps going strong as he is now. And like I said, it is important to look after your body because God dwells within it. It's important because there's so... Uh, this food that I mentioned here to you is the young foods and that. Lemon juice is so... Lots of uh, 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 vitamin C in it and it helps for the... Uh, what's the name? It's a, it helps for the colds and flu that you get. It, yeah, I'm going to read you one that can help for colds and flu. You just squeeze three lemon... Uh, uh, three lemons like this and uh, three uh, that is now for a bottle eh? and three uh, uh, lemons about one piece of ginger like this and um, that takes about this is about no this takes about three spoons yeah then yeah then you have to make say for, for a bottle you have to make uh, seven so you take about two pieces of this for a full bottle a liter bottle and three lemons and like I said, one spoon of cinnamon, cinnamon is such a wonderful, for diabetics is one of the best. I'm talking about diabetics because I, I'm just introducing to you now something of eat, eating healthy. And one cup of honey. Honey is so important. You can see the bottle is almost empty. And then uh, uh, if, you, if you, I love it with a snack. And my snack is a rice cake. Then I put that on the cake, the, the, the honey, and I eat it. And it's also... The honey is also good for cold, cough, and flu, and also those that has asthma, it says here. And you can, you can go look it up on www.facebook.com, and it will show you the, the others, and if, you, if you didn't get the, the, things, uh, the things of eating, not, of not eating right. You just take one quarter cup of organic honey, add all the above ingredients, and make it well, using blender and store it in a cool and dry place and keep it there take one spoon in the morning and one spoon in the night and finish it the whole week then you will be totally one week or seven days perfect number of the lord jesus christ and i can say to you 
God made us all perfect. He doesn't want us to be sick. He doesn't want us to feel unwell. But it can happen that anyone can get a flu, uh, when, especially when seasons are changing, especially with the sinus. But there's a lot of uh, 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 things that can help. Even a smoothie, you blend one kiwi, one orange, a lemon juice, one le uh, 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 a quarter uh, a lemon, sorry, and a cup of uh, uh, spinach. You know, you can take a baby spinach or red spinach, a big, a dozen matter spinach, is spinach, and then also raw honey. Raw honey. This is raw honey in here, another bar, a full jar of honey. I'm not going to take it out, otherwise all, all the things are going to fall apart. Full, uh, this is a, the honey that I purchase always, and I keep it for the family. And that, and it's like, it yarns for I and I, my family home, it helps. It's perfectly. And then cayenne pepper. This is cayenne pepper, and it's, uh, you know, the old yarn, some calls it the red pepper as well. It all helps, you know, and it's a good blend for it. It's awesome. And if one cup of filtered water, filtered water means it's like, uh, where's it? Yeah. yeah. This is water. I'm not, I took off the label because of uh, uh, no-name brands. You understand? So we, uh, we're, not, we're not promoting any shops and that. We're only promoting the... the the, the, the word of God because the, the word of God is the one that helps us. Word of God also say that the rivers of living water shall flow through our innermost being. And it's so water is healthy. I love drinking water. And uh, uh, you know when you make your when I make this, I make it with a normal cup uh, uh, to, with normal water. But when I drink water, I drink it from here. Like, uh, you know from the from from the this water. It's so important. I drink it from, from glass. Important to drink. You can drink for a whole day. I actually, as I find out in my research work, you actually need a full glass of uh, water. But more than, I think, how many takes, how many, I can't remember now, but a liter for our body, you know, to really, to flush out all the, 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 the things that, that the, you know, to detox our body, I will say. Because this is also a very good, the uh, green tea that I drink is also a very good detox. Sapphire in the arms to detox your body, and so uh, so glad. And you can squeeze a little bit of lemon in here. I love my lemon. It's a very good agent for many things. I'm gonna read you now what is it good for just now. But I'm gonna drink some of it. My husband said his time is almost up. He shows me there now, and uh, there's so many things uh, that that. Uh, Lemon can help. I'm just looking for that uh, part that we can quickly read you to that because we have come to a close now. I will be back soon concerning more uh, recipes and more. Uh, I'm gonna the next uh, talk I'm gonna have is gonna talk about the oil, the olive oil that God has made, and also olive vera. We've got lots of olive vera plants here in our garden. I'm gonna have some plants here and I'm gonna talk about that what is good for the skin and makeup and all that. But the, right now, let me just finish with the, with the drinking of uh, lemon water, which I just squeezed out here in front of you. And uh, it says the benefits of the lemon water. It says it boots in, it increases it increase your mood swings. I don't know if that's true, but this is what they say. And uh, uh, it's full of vitamin C, as I said earlier. It helps improve your skin. It keeps clear and it helps it heals the body the vitamins and uh, nutrition for keeping skin bright, all right? Detoxifying your system, which is important, that flushes out all the, the, the bad uh, the toxins in your body, and it helps it, uh, uh, in digestion especially, very good for the digestion, yeah. and for uh, the, the eliminate the waste from digestive tract. You see, it's so important, we must all go to the toilet at least once or thrice a day. And of course, uh, when we need to urinate or whatever. And if you have shed pounds, drink lemon water instead of diet sodas. Sodas goes into your bloodstreams and it goes into your joints. And it, that's why a lot of people are, I'm talking about soda drinks now, like the cool drinks. They, it goes in your bloodstream and it goes in your joints and it gives you arthritis. And uh, I used to drink Coke. And I have thrown it away out of my fridge, out of my uh, cupboards. And I said to my children, don't give this to our grandsons. We've got three grandsons. Don't give it to them. 
don't give it to whoever comes in. Throw it out and go for your food. That is what I told my family. I tell them that and they listen to me. And I'm so thankful we are going to come back soon. You know, because every day is a day that the Lord has made. And I feel good. I feel energetic. I can go to exercise now. Because this is how I feel of drinking the green juice earlier on. And uh, the, the, the food that I've, I've made. And uh, I also wanted to give you the recipe of, of my... Uh, the, the food that I've, got, I've already prepared, as you can zoom in here, it's all made of this fruit, the, the fresh fruit and veg. It's made of the, the sweet potato, and as you can see, the chicken pieces in there, and also the uh, a button, a butternut is there, and also the carrot, as you can see, and then very, very important, very rich in very many, many things. And this is the things that are called the I'm done. <laughs> my husband said the time is up. But this is my food for tonight. It looks delicious. How does it look, my husband? Can you answer? Nice. Very nice. Delicious. You should say delicious. <laughs> but anyway, he never complains about my, my food. He always says it's lovely. I put my my things that I use is this is mixed herbs which I buy from the from our uh, fruit and veg stores and that. And then a little bit of lemon herb. Uh, and, and salt spice and if I use salt it is salt that is uh, very uh, uh, you know the sea salt what you call this um, that you grind and then of course uh, the um, salt and pepper mix and I like this ones because this is the most the best one as the doctor said and this is all the soup packets that, I, that we buy and, we, and this is a mushroom soup packets that we buy and we make, this, make it with a soup as we said it earlier on cinnamon is so important in your food this is you can make cinnamon tea for yourself throw this in very hot water put a, a, a little bit of tea with it as well green tea or your, or your own tea that you love flavor that you love and you make tea with that tea is some awesome things for it's in a very hot day and you feel down and like a, a warm day a, a, i mean a cold day then you make your, your nice cup of tea and it relaxes you even in a hot day it you that you will relax as well Hot or cold doesn't matter the weather. It is you that must just relax in the presence of God and, and have fun with making food in your kitchen. And that tomorrow I'm going to talk about coconut uh, oil and about the, the olive oils and that. And we're going to be back with more wonderful news from the Bible. And this is all Bible news uh, from the Bible, the Bible foods. And that was for, with healing properties in it, healing things in it, you know, uh, nutritional healing foods in it. God bless you. We will be back soon. And thank you for tuning in. Thank you for, for listening. And if you want to uh, order uh, uh, some of my um, recipes and that, and the books, this book of uh, God's, the daily health foods, uh, uh, God's menu, uh, family menu, uh, uh, menus is uh, available uh, soon. I'm going to let you know. And then you can buy it from the stores as well. God bless you till the next time. Love to, to be back. Bye-bye.